Well, it's being described as a trash can for the sea. Two environmental advocates from Australia have created a device which they say can help deal with the growing problem of pollution in our world's oceans. We went to San Francisco to get a look at the sea bin in action. I reach in and I grab it and pull it up. It's a combination of a trash can and a pool skimmer. And Pete Siglinski hopes this invention will help clean up our oceans. Kind of dump this out. The CEO of Seabin shows us what this device captured in the waters off Pier 39. We've collected cigarette butts, uh, plastic straws, uh, microplastics. We've also collected some oil and fuel. Siglinski, a surfer from Australia and his business partner, dreamed up the sea bin three years ago, frustrated by the growing amount of plastic and pollutants littering the water. Everywhere we ran around the world, there was so much marine litter floating around. It, it was like we need a trash can for the water. So we skim the water from the surface. It takes about a half an inch of water. We pass it through a filter. We pump the water clean out the bottom and then in the filter, uh, that's where we collect the plastic bottles, the plastic straws. So far, there are more than 700 sea bins operating in more than 40 countries around the world. Here in San Francisco, Siglinski has teamed up with 11-year-old Sydney White, who will be checking the contents of this sea bin once a week and doing an inventory of all the water bottles, wrappers, plastics, and microplastics that have been collected from the waters of the bay. I like the environment and I want to help it. I think it, it's better for the Bay Area. Well, I also heard that there were more around the world. Siglinski says the sea bins in use around the world have already pulled close to two tons of waste from our oceans that could have been ingested by marine life. But he says to truly make a dent in the problem, we all need to change our behavior. A sea bin is not going to save the ocean. Technology is not going to save the ocean, but it all comes back to us and uh, refuse single use, ban the bag, ban the plastic straw. And I think the prevention combined with the you know, technology, that's how we're going to start to sort of win the war on plastics. And as part of this campaign try to clean up the oceans, the CEO of Seabin is urging local governments around the world to install more of these devices and make a concerted effort to limit the public's use of plastic.